this is a little nine euro ninety nine air compressor, which I figured I'd add a little screamer fan to in order to make it run a bit less destructively hot. Uh, but I figured we'd just have a little look inside since a nine ninety nine air compressor here in Finland is uh, probably the same as a two dollar eBay compressor, and I'm quite impressed that they've managed to get it uh, down to such a price and it actually works really well. Uh, I really like this thing. It provides decent pressure and uh, I've removed the original uh, air nipple and just put a general purpose aid pin so I can use a proper air handle with it. Oh, we even had some pressure in there still. So yeah, this, this thing will go up to like 10 bars before it uh, conks out. And let's see if it comes apart. No, one more screw. It's a little 12 volt thing, by the way. It has uh, just a cigarette lighter uh, connector and probably current limits through. Uh, just a resistance for wires. And that's all we have. That comes apart. That's a pretty sturdy little assembly. A uh, plastic cog, which is a bit disappointing. We have counterbalanced. A little tiny compressor. Look at that. There's the cast cylinder. Seems to be steel. The rest is. Yeah, it's probably all cast steel. That's not too bad. Let's uh, run it if I can manage to hold it in my hand. Yeah, you can see the pressure going up insanely high. So we have a 10 bars right at the middle of a scale. It shoots past that, now it's at 11 bars, or what's that, 160 psi. And that's because this connector just doesn't release the air <laughs> until it connects something. And if I feel this hose, that is a lot of pressure there. That is harder than a normal compressor hose. Hmm. Really neat little thing, gonna put some oil in it to make it a bit better still. And there we go, there it is soldered together, I just uh, literally soldered a fan straight across the leads to the motor. And now it's going back together. And there we go, fan properly zip tied in place. And I drilled a few air holes off the top of this very fake heatsink. So let's see if it runs. Oh yeah, that's the sound of a turbocharger. Excellent. That's good. Ought to improve the lifetime of this nine euro ninety six cent air compressor. Uh, I did add some uh, molybdenum di disulfide uh, lube to uh, all the parts inside just to make them a bit more uh, wear resistant as well. So we'll see. I think this thing is going to last me a good long time now. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.